I'd like to introduce the chairman of MIPI Alliance, Joel Hulo. He's with uh, S.T. Erickson. He'll have an opening presentation for you, and uh, feel free to hold your questions or ask during the presentation. Okay. okay. Thank you, Archer. So I hope it will be quite instructive for everybody to, to follow this session. Okay, and like Marsha said, do not hesitate to ask questions because this is an overview. It's not a, a deep presentation. And I believe that we will learn more from the question of the answer. Okay, so a brief overview of the uh, MIPI Alliance. Uh, MIPI Alliance is an open organization, so whoever uh, is willing to join the uh, MIPI Alliance, uh, there is no problem to join, okay, just to fill the membership agreement. Okay. Uh, the, the MIPI Alliance uh, score today is the mobile terminal, okay, but there is no limitation in the use of the mobile interfaces that you are defining within the MIPI alliance. You can use them outside the mobile terminal score, and in that case, you, you might be under the wrong term. If you do look at the, the ecosystem that we do have in MIPI alliance, we have more than 170 members, and we are going from the OEM manufacturer to our IP provider. So what are the, the uh, benefits for the uh, MIPI alliance? Okay, uh, it's, it's a fragmented uh, industry that we are addressing all together. Okay, so by defining some standard on the interfaces, you might be able to address more customers. Uh, as of today, uh, you do see that we are, we are speaking more and more about smartphones than the cost of the phone. Okay? So, and everybody is looking to address more and more the smartphone market because this is a, a big added value for, for everybody. So, what, what is the, the uh, interest of, of the VP? Okay, so we improve the interconnectivity and compatibility. We will have through uh, the differentiation, the understanding of where we go also for, for the testing. So you will have not only uh, the use of your own interface, but we will be able to connect your own product to your product easily. Being able to use uh, complex interfaces that has been developed from uh, a lot of uh, companies will be able to, to put your own resources to develop something else. Uh, I'm always happy to show this graph. <laughs> so we, we start, um, I, I was there yeah, and, uh, in 03, okay, and uh, through the MIPI Alliance life, I see myself getting older. When I started, I was not wearing glasses to read the books, I was wearing glasses. Okay. And uh, it's good to see that uh, we have been able to, to sustain uh, quite a good growth okay, within the, the, the members. And uh, this, this is good for us because this is uh, showing us that the industry uh, sees added value in it. Okay. Otherwise, it would not be going like this uh, till now. Okay. We have more than 175 members. Okay, so that was good, and we, we started from the uh, February 2004. And I believe there is some new member, new potential member in this room. So, what do we address with the, the uh, different interfaces that we are, we are, we are defining? Okay, uh, from the, the uh, this uh, nice slide that has been done by the marketing people. Okay, you will see that. Uh, we address nearly all the ecosystem of the mobile terminal. Okay, from very complex interfaces like uh, Unipro or like the uh, low latency interface to very low complex uh, interfaces for example, uh, battery interface. Okay. So you have to know, for example, today in the industry in mobile terminal application, you have something like eight different interfaces for the battery. So this is quite good added value by using the MIP interfaces because you will be uh, defining and designing one battery interface that will be used for all the batteries. Okay, today uh, our people when they do design the product, they have to sustain eight different interfaces. So as you can see here, uh, we do not address only the interfaces between application processor and peripheral. We do address also specification like DRF for the baseband to the RF chip. Okay. Ah, I, I 
was surprised. We have been quite productive in Libby. Okay, at the beginning we were having very, very few uh, working group. At, at, at some time we were wondering, are we going to be able to sustain all of these groups? Because uh, the groups are populated by the, the engineers from the different companies, and this is free for the MIPI alliance. Okay, so it's a, it's a dedicated resources that all the company put in MIPI. So that show a great interest from the company to put resources, to take leadership in the definition of the interfaces. This is very important for, for you to understand this, okay? <coughs> so the, 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 the first two interfaces that, uh, I'll even three, so two interfaces that were very, very successful is the one that was expecting by the market. Okay, there was no uh, alternative to go after a new interfaces for the camera, okay, so you have uh, maybe about CSI too, okay? And this was needed by the, the industry because we've seen the rise for the megapixel on the camera. Okay, so we have to create a new interface. And whenever there is a new interface needed for the mobile terminal, we are able to do it. And this is successful. So two examples are the camera interface and you also the display <coughs> interface, okay? And part of this camera and display interface are also coming from the legacy interfaces that were at the beginning of the MIPI alliance, okay? One very, uh, one very popular in uh, interface is, if I may say so, is the uh, physical uh, layer. One thing that we have been able to do with it maybe is to reuse the uh, effort that people were, were giving in developing new interfaces. So we, what we have tried to do is to let's design one file, and this file will be using for camera, for display, and let's see wherever we can use this file. Okay, so we, de we developed first the D5 to address what was needed at this time. D5 was one gigabit per second. Then the, the, the market requirement increased because people were going to go with 10 megapixel, 20 megapixel, uh, 40 megapixel on camera phone. Okay? And then there's a need to go after M5. And the, the plan for M5 you will see with scan is to go to 5 gigabit per second. Okay, so you have to know also that VP Alliance not only answer to the requirement of the today market, but also we have some role map and perspective in the development of our uh, specification. Th this is a good block diagram illustrating the, the different interfaces that we have been able to develop within the uh, VP Alliance. What you have to know yeah, there's been a lot of, of discussion about this, this diagram. Uh, this diagram is only here to illustrate the use of an interface. This is not exhaustive. Okay? Okay, so let me use some, some example here. So, one completely new interface uh, that was not present in the mobile uh, terminal is the uh, slim bus that we have defined. So this is an audio uh, interfaces. So the, the new thing here you can see in the mobile uh, terminal uh, interfaces is that Slimburst is uh, multi-point interfaces. Okay, so this, the target of Slimburst is to replace all the legacy low-speed low interfaces like I2C for example. And also to replace the SPI or the audio bus at the same time. So, as I mentioned to you before, the uh, display and camera interface. So, this side too, so this is the future generation of display where people will be looking to see uh, Sweden. Okay, Sweden is very popular today. Everybody is speaking about Sweden in the industry. So, MIPI Alliance is looking at what we need to do to enable the 3D application in the mobile terminal. Here you have the uh, CSA 3, so that will be the future revision for, for the camera. Uh, now you, you see some, some people going with a stereoscopic uh, camera to do picture 3D. 